Well, hello. Welcome back. <laughs> we haven't travelled very far today. We are in Falmouth, which is about 10 miles away from Cambridge. And we have come to the Falmouth Aircraft Museum. You might be able to hear aeroplanes in the background. I don't know if the microphone can pick it up. But, uh, there's, uh, there's a museum, there's also a sort of light aircraft runway, so people are actually flying here as well. We don't know anything about it. It's hardly ever open. And we thought we'd take the opportunity to come and have a visit. Let's go see. The idea for Falmere Air Museum was born when veterans and their families would visit the airfield to see where their fathers and grandfathers had served. Manor Farm is home to over 100 years of airfield history. In 1918, the Royal Flying Corps chose Falmere for a Class A aerodrome. Since then, it's been home to a variety of RAF and Allied squadrons. many artefacts, some donated and many rediscovered on the site. After the US Air Force left, the site was used as the Polish resettlement camp between 1946 and 1958. Many of the volunteers are the descendants of the Polish families and grew up on the site or in the village. This is Henry Starecki. He told us that he was one of the last children to leave the camp. And here he is as a boy.
So we've moved on. It's a lot quieter. <laughs> Less plains. Less plains. But we're still in the same village. We're still in Falmer and we've come to the RSPB Nature Reserve. Uh, you've been before. Yes. I've never been. So it'll be nice to just have a nice little stroll and see what wildlife we can see. You want to go, babe? Don't mind. And let's go to the Drua Hide. Okay. Oops, without falling over first. Ooh. Is, isn't it quite quite quiet? And here's the hide. The school chairs. Yes, very school chairs. But shh, quiet, please. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> this little stream is remarkably clear beautifully clear water. Running alongside a reed bed. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Spoilers, we didn't. Oh gosh. Mushrooms. That river doesn't look big enough to house a pike or a trout for me. Maybe a water vole. Maybe one vole at the most. <laughs>
the reed bed hide. Yes. Gosh, I love how the willow fences are still alive. Isn't that wonderful? That's really, really cool. Oh, oh my gosh, it's like a tree house. Mm. I better pay attention. Quiet, please. There's a white egret. Hello, Mr. Egret. That's a bit quieter. Makes you want to play the trombone, doesn't it? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we joined the RSPP. <laughs> Sadly, I think this is the only kingfisher we will see today. Never mind, next time. I hope you've enjoyed our little exploration of the Cambridgeshire village of Falmouth. It's been quite a, an eclectic sort of day. It has, hasn't it? Yeah. Planes, birds, things that fly basically. <laughs> yes, but it's certainly worth a little visit. It's not very far from Cambridge at all. Um, and it's been nice and peaceful. It has been very quiet. Yes. Yes. Thank you for watching. If you've liked, then Maybe subscribe, click the notification bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll catch you next time.